This is the, you know, the, the box covering um, for the Yoshimi Battles of Pink Robots um, 20th anniversary big deluxe box set thing. Um, so it has this original iconic, iconic now anyway, um, painting. Has this other little painting, which I think was a, goes with the EP that we released in 2003, the fight test EP. Um, and that painting I don't have anymore. I gave a lot of these paintings uh, away probably in late 2003, 2004 to people that worked at Warner Brothers and stuff like that. I just, I had them and I, it, even though they seem valuable, I mean, they didn't seem that valuable to me. They just seemed like this is such a, all this is connected to this record that everybody uh, worked so hard to bring to the world's attention. And I was forever grateful for that team of people that so much believed in it. And so I don't have all the paintings, but I do have some of them. So we'll talk about this, this cover painting. It's, um, you know, we, we see it now and it's, it's hard to ever see it without the great graphics and coloring that went along with it. But it's, it's owned now, I mean, it's, it's, it's of course, it's, it's, it's mine, but it's owned by our manager, Scott Booker, and he's put it in this, this nice frame. <laughs> and um, you can see it's, you know, it's coloring is slightly different, but it's, it is exactly the painting. And if you're able to look really close, you can see there's pencil in there. There's some pens. I think I was using a ballpoint pen. You know, I, I would probably have sketched this and painted it. Um, the background, I probably painted one day, let it dry overnight, and then the next day uh, would just come and, and just draw and paint it. I um, think it's done in oil paints, but I think some of it's done in pens and some of it's done in um, acrylics and some of it's done uh, with pencil, just whatever I can get, do to get it to happen, you know. Um, and this it was a direct, you know, copy. I don't have I don't have it with me now, but it's a direct copy of a small sketch that I did when Dave Fridman and I. Stephen was there as well, but I think it was it was mostly Dave and I back and forth in the mix on the mixing uh, desk there, where we were arriving at this idea of it being a concept record called Yoshimi Bows the Pink Robots. And I think his mind and my mind were urging towards this same thing. And when I drew, it was, was, wasn't exactly like this. It was, it was virtually like this, where Yoshimi is small standing in the, you know, in the, in, in the, close to you and the robot is, we never really could, could figure out exactly what the robot is. Is he kind of like, is he, is he soft and metal at the same time? You know, we, I, I didn't want him to be, just a typical, um, you know, 1950s clunky robot. So I, 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 there was, there's a, there's a book by the artist uh, Nikki Saint Afal, and and I was painting and seeing it, and um, you can see where the, the the big legs are very similar, and the stuff around the head is similar, and the arms, uh, the arms with her thing, maybe they're more like wings or whatever, but. You know, I just, I, I used some of that as just inspiration to be like, well, it's, it kind of has its own, uh, its own shapelessness, you know, um, which really helped me. And, and, um, and, it, it, and, you know, you never know where inspiration is going to come from. And so um, I, I loved uh, this, this uh, sculpture that she had done. And I just thought, well, this, that'll be kind of how my robot's going to look. So, so yeah, it was, um, like I said, it was all done within a couple of hours. And I would have easily changed it if, um, if it didn't seem like it, it, anybody liked it or whatever. You know, it was something I really liked and I just, I just went for it. But yeah, so yeah, you can, you can see how it's, you know, there's a lot of similarities there. So yeah, anyway. So anyway, it was sitting over there and, you know, for, you didn't, didn't have any reason for it to be anything. We knew it was going to be pink. We knew it was going to be a robot, and we knew it was going to be, you know, uh, slightly. You know, we wanted it to feel like a flaming lips robot or whatever. Um, so it's got like these these arms and these legs that are, you know, connected to the bottom of his his legs or whatever. Um, maybe this is blood on the wall, and she's got these floaty little blue orbs that go around her mind, and uh, you know. All this is just a, yeah, all happening within just a couple of hours. Um, 
and because we needed the cover image. I think there's there's something uh, great about, um, you know, you need it. You've got to have it. You can't sit around for weeks on end and, and, and contemplate and, and think, oh, what, what could it be? What could it be? So we kind of knew what it was going to be. And I was hoping for this, this, this type of coloring. Um, you know, there's something warm, there's something, you know, biblical about it or something, you know. Um, but I also didn't want it to seem like comic book sci-fi. I didn't want to give it too much details. And I just got extremely, extremely lucky. But also I knew that it was gonna have graphics, you know, and that's part of the appeal, I think, of the, of the album cover. I mean, it's not this one, but these graphics are pretty similar to that and the coloring and everything. And you can't underestimate how much that can really affect your overall perception of something. It's never just the painting, it's never just the, 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 the graphics, it's never just the words, you know, it's a big combination of stuff. So, just got extremely lucky with that. Um, and now, it, now I feel like it's probably me, probably will always be uh, my most famous painting, which, um, which is amazing. Um, and, and, and to know that I, that I did it so quickly and really did love it. I mean, I, I was hoping that everybody else would love it, um, which they did. But, you know, at the time I was like, well, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. I hope it, I hope it works. And so, yeah, so that's the story behind, that's the story behind uh, that cover, as long as that was. <laughs>